A painter, photographer, and printmaker, Everett Spruill is an innovator. Born in 1954 in Birmingham, Alabama, Everett attended Beria College, where he majored in business. It was during this time that he painted loose, gestural watercolor of landscapes and portraits in the tradition of the French Impressionists, but did not seriously entertain the idea of a career in the arts. While managing a hotel in Miami, and with frequent visits to the Miami Museum, a Picasso exhibition changed his mind as he was inspired by the simplicity of the work and the geometric patterns that formed the images. After relocating to Orlando, Everett took up painting seriously and it was after two accidental paintings that he found his success. Known as the Old School Jazz and Blues series, Everett creates paintings and collages out of a variety of materials. From that time on, Spruill consistently created with an increasingly complex variations of recycled and repurposed materials focusing on jazz as a central theme. Everett constantly challenges himself to source new materials and expand his resources. His first radical shift came in 1999 with the Tribal Rhythm series, in which he employed interlocking geometric shapes combined with graffiti techniques. It was around this time as well that he created his first abstract prints in screen printing, linoleum cuts, and offset lithography. During the following decade, Everett introduced texture to his art, which he came to call nouveau stained glass painting for his transparent qualities. From the mid-1990s to the 2010s, Everett created a large body of work that responded in a general way to the childlike simplicity of creating art. During this time, the increasingly abstract collages of Everett's paintings gave way to a multitude of materials from electronic components, textiles, recycled wallpaper, and decorative architectural elements. In 2017, Everett began making wire sculptures for public spaces and developing architectural projects. Still residing in Orlando, Florida, Everett's prints and paintings are most famous for his work in the areas of collage and cubist abstraction. <laughs> 